guys welcome back to my channel so this is part three of my one year post big chop update if you haven't checked out part one and part two make sure you go check those out before you watch this video because it's leading up to this video so i will have those linked below but if you watched those already welcome back and this is just going to be the kind of question and answer segment of everything you all wanted to know leading up to my one year post big chop so I asked you all on Snapchat and my Instagram to send me some questions to my Twitter. I snapshotted all of the questions and also I kind of remembered a lot of the questions that you all asked me during my journey. So the first question I'm going to answer is what has been your routine for your hair and do you get it trimmed or do you trim it yourself and how often? Um, I generally wear wigs. And that's pretty much what my channel is about is wigs and like hair, hair extensions. And that's really what I've been doing to my hair. When I was wearing my wigs, you all saw in a couple of my installation videos that I did use Gorilla Snot to slick down my natural hair. Which I kind of regret because it was pretty, I don't want to say damaging, but it was really drying to my hair. And once my hair was long enough to you know braid i took advantage of that and i went go get my hair braided and i was so surprised of how my hair was grippable but once i got my hair braided i never went back to that gorilla snot because that's just so unhealthy just slathering that all on my hair but it worked i'm not gonna lie it works if you have a twa and you need your hair slicked down but make sure you are deep conditioning your hair every time you wash that out and have to do it again so that's what i did that was pretty much my routine i wasn't following a strict routine while doing my protect the styling i would just wash my hair whenever i had the gorilla snot and then when i got my hair braided i would just wash it the next time i would get it braided with which would be about a month a month and a half later that was my routine nothing special so do i get my hair trimmed no i have haven't trimmed my hair since my official big chop in August of last year. I do know that I need to get a trim just to keep the health up, but I don't feel like I need to, but I definitely will be doing that. The next question was, I'm curious on what your growth regimen was back when you cut your hair to the root. Did you protect your bald head or slap your wigs on bare? Also... How often do you wash and deep condition? Like I said, I don't have a regimen of washing and conditioning my hair. And also, um, I didn't protect my bald head when I did cut my hair all the way down. I literally just slapped my wigs on. It wasn't really much to do to it. And I didn't even wear a wig cap, which I should have probably did. But I didn't. So, did I take hair growth pills? And no, I didn't. I did purchase two bottles of the main choice vitamins which um i wanted to start taking but i didn't i just wanted to go this one year without really doing anything special to my hair i think that i will start taking biotin now that i have reached that year mark and we'll just see how long my hair goes with that i think it was my two month post big chop and i did say that i wanted to start taking biotin but i never started because i was afraid of just breaking out and just bumps because I did struggle with like kind of breakouts from stress and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to start taking those pills and also just drinking a lot of water with it to avoid those type of breakouts. Do I plan on dyeing my hair? I wanted to dye my hair, but actually I think I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Dyeing your hair, especially natural hair, is literally like another job. I don't know, color just takes a lot of maintenance and I really don't think that I'm ready for that. I just want to let my hair grow in its virgin natural texture. That's why I cut it off in the first place. So I do not think that I'll be doing that anytime soon. Did I texturize my hair? No, I did not texturize my hair. All the Big Chop updates that I did was my natural hair with products. So it wasn't any type of texturizer and I wouldn't plan on texturizing my hair. My hair is already kind of loose in the curl um section so i don't think that i would have to texturize my hair and i don't think it would do much for it but straighten out 
my texture more you know so just to put this out there what i see in my hair texture this is pretty much how my hair was before i start messing it up with colors and flat iron it every day when i had leave out but my bottom curl pattern has always been tighter than my top and i'm not really sure about what my curl pattern is i always said that it was like a 3c 3 3c ish kind of because i don't know my curls are very coily but they are not as defined you know and also at the top my curls are much 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 looser than my bottom ones and these um curls on the side are also very tight like my bottom but when it gets up here like all in this area it's like wavy so i definitely have to finger coil my hair to get it to kind of be similar to this right here but this is not with flexi rods or perm rods or any of that i just finger coil my hair and it just air dried so i did use this product for a little bit this is the wild growth hair oil by hairgrownfest.com and i got this from sally's i'm not really sure how much it was but a lot of people recommended this in my, I think, four-month Big Chop update, six-month. And they told me that this will make my hair grow a lot. So I did put this on my hair before I slicked down my hair with a Gorilla Snot for my wigs. And this stuff actually works pretty good. It made my hair itch really badly, so that's why I stopped using it. And I used it for about a week when I was wearing my wigs, but I just stopped just because... It was a really strong smell, first of all, and then I just didn't like how it was making my hair itch. But as for shampoo and conditioner, like, like I stated, I only use the Aussie products, but in my previous video, I did pick up two products. And these were the two products right here. This was the Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine Sulfate Free Shampoo, and it's for dry, dull, and brittle hair. It says it replenishes moisture, improves the manageability, and adds shine, and it has aloe, sweet clover, and rose and then i also got the matching black vanilla moisture and shine hydrating conditioner and it says this is for dry and dull brittle hair and it has shea biotin and pro vitamin b5 in it so these were the matching ones i got from walmart they were pretty on the expensive side it wasn't the price of aussie because aussie you get like double this for five dollars and i think these were about ten dollars each that's what I use to wash and condition this. And I really like these. I really like the sulfate free shampoo. It didn't make my hair over drying. And the conditioner smelled really good. But I think that's what caused my hair to have these little white flakes in it. So I feel like that's basically all I have to update you all with at this point. If anything new comes up, I will be letting you all know what's going on. And I'm not going to be waiting months to update you all anymore. I know that was like torture for some people who were interested in my hair journey and wasn't as much interested in my weaving experiences and wigs. You know what I mean? So I want to start doing more natural hair talks and you know experiences on here so definitely please 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 let me know below what you all want to see done to my hair i know you all asked for the wash and go and that's what i gave y'all and just let me know any suggestions that you all you know think i should try but um just let me know below because i want to cater to you all's needs you know what i mean also thank you all so much for being so patient with me being so encouraging despite all the hate that I got from that big chop video. Who cares about that? Because your girl hair is growing back. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for just everything being so positive. All the support, loving comments, all of that stuff. You guys are so appreciated. And I'm so happy that I was able to inspire so many people. And just like getting so many snaps, Instagram posts, DMs, like all of that stuff of you all telling me that I inspired you to be more confident and showing you all that hair is not something that defines a person. I literally appreciate you all so much. You guys don't know how humbling that was for me and I didn't expect that video to blow up how it did. But I am super, super thankful and blessed and I just appreciate you all so much. I cannot stress that enough. I just want to you know, show a tribute to all of those who sent me pictures 
and said that I inspired them. So if you see your picture at the end, I just want to thank you all so much. And also those who wasn't able to send me a picture or also if I forgot you, I'm so sorry. It was so many. But yeah, once again, thank you all so much and I love you all dearly. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!